Recently, we've been doing more and more work with uh, advertising firms, uh, inbound specific uh, advertising firms. And one of the first things we talk about is a utilization rate versus a realization rate. And what I want to focus on is basically what is a utilization rate? And it's very simple. It's simply the amount of time that one of your employees or you spend working on client facing tasks versus the total amount of time that you're available to work. So let's just assume a 40 hour work week and let's assume that 20, per, 20 hours of that week are spent on client facing tasks, writing blog posts, um, meeting with clients, those types of things. And the other 20 hours are spent on administrative type tasks, meaning um, uh, doing payroll, cleaning the office, what, what have you. So your utilization rate at that point would be 50%, right? 20 hours of client work, 20 hours of uh, admin work in a 40 hour week. That's a 50% utilization rate. And what that says is theoretically, you could double the workload, take on double the amount of clients that you have and not have to add another employee because you have 50% of your time is being spent non-client facing. So it's easier to add an admin person who can handle the admin tasks than it would be to add a professional person who can handle the, the and you generally less expensive, who can handle the um, ad, uh, professional tasks. So you gotta take that with a bit of a grain of salt. Obviously nobody is ever 100% productive. It's just not possible. Uh, what we shoot for is about an 80% utilization rate, generally speaking, where 80% of any professional's time is spent on client-facing tasks, the other 20% on admin tasks. And those admin tasks can include training, uh, sometimes they have sales responsibilities, um, whatever that may be, but 80% is about, um, about the max, generally speaking, that you'd see. So if you have four staff people all at 80% utilization rate, that generally would say to you, in order for us to grow, in order for us to add another client or two, we would most likely need to add more staff. However, if you've got two at 80% and two at 40%, then you could say, okay, we can probably add two, three, four more clients without having to add another staff person. So that's why it's important to know your utilization rate.